Okay, so the hydraulics has been uh, a real journey for us, and I've had a lot, a lot to learn myself because I'm not a hydraulic engineer. And like I said before, we've got a lot of, a lot of cylinders on the chute because everything's a direct push pull. We've eliminated the linkages because of wear points. So we're working with our current supplier at the moment, Trosh Dynamics, and uh, we've had to. We put it in the feedlot and I'm having to tweak one of the flow dividers and the neck extenders because they're not sinking quite like I want. And then by testing, I want to improve some of the connection points on the lower squeeze on the, on the rod end and the cap end of the cylinders just for durability's sake. I'm being so meticulous and I feel like I can't be fussy enough because for one, if you don't have your hydraulics right, you, you you don't have nothing. If you have your hydraulics right, well, hydraulics are very, very, very nice. And I feel like this. So if it's your baby and it cries, you fix it, right? If it's your baby and it cries for somebody else, you got a problem. We're gonna have difficulties in the field. Everybody does, but I wanna keep them to an, an absolute minimum because it just really bothers me when our, our equipment breaks for people in the field or lets them down. It just really bothers me.